Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Justisa and I finally, finally watched Arcane. And this series is based off the game League of Legends and I have something that I need to say. I don't play League of Legends. I've tried it twice, I think, or maybe three times. I don't know. I think it's like two or three times I've tried it. I it, It's just not a game for me. My friends play it all the time and they want me to play it with them. But I just... And I don't like it, really. <laughs> but that is my problem. But I know enough. I've heard enough about the characters. I've seen a lot of amazing cosplays and stuff from League, I guess. But <laughs> I know enough to be interested in watching this series, especially when I saw the animation because I thought it was really interesting. So let's get down to this. I am going to review it <laughs> as I usually do in So I Watched. And this time I watched Arcane. It starts off with buying powder as children, siblings even. How they live and what they have to do to survive in the Undercity. How Jinx became Jinx, how Hextay came to be, and how the characters are connected to each other and the world. And what they had to sacrifice to succeed. When it comes to my favorite character, I'm not gonna lie, it's difficult to choose just one. So I'm gonna cheat and <laughs> pick my top three. But not even in the right order because I actually don't know which order I would put them. Yeah. <laughs> so I really enjoyed Vi's attitude and her struggles as a sibling, a sister, and also a leader. And how she had to take like big decisions and responsibility at such a young age. I think a lot of people can relate to that to that <laughs> maybe not in the sense of like if you don't do the right thing you might die you're living in a very toxic environment but more like you know in, in general in our world it makes sense like I'm an older sister um, and yeah I just I, I can I, I could relate to Vi a lot I also really liked seeing how Powder descended into darkness and insanity and became Jinx. How she struggled with not being good enough and being exploited at such a young age. It's scary and heart-wrenching and especially if you're an empath like me, I just like I feel like n no kid should have to go through the things that Powder went through. Like I understand why she became the way she did. Like all the things that happened to her, it's it's scary. Like no one should have to go through that. And that's why I really enjoyed Powder and Jinx as a character because it's understandable in a way. But yeah. Another character that I found interesting and that I really liked and that my heart bled for was actually Victor. He, he had this vision, he wanted to help people and then didn't get as much credit for it as he deserved. Not that I really liked the spotlight or wanted the credit, I just felt like he deserved more than he got. And then also like, good things rarely happen to good people, it feels like. And so when the sickness hit and he just wanted to live, I couldn't blame him for the things that he did. Because who wouldn't do that? Like, when you give a lot and you rarely get anything back for it, you would go to extreme lengths to get what you deserve, I guess. I guess. I'm trying to justify him and it's not good because, I don't know. I really enjoyed his character, at least. I think it was interesting the characters felt really complex and dimensional like there weren't just one side to them like there were not just like this or this they were dimensional it's a good word dimensional <laughs> and I really like that because it's feel it feels more realistic in a way that they are dimensional and it's difficult not to feel for them 
So that's why I had such a difficult time with just choosing one favorite character because yeah, it's difficult to not feel for any of the characters because they feel not, maybe not realistic, but like you understand them, I guess. It's what I'm trying to say. And so in short, what I'm also trying to say is that I like the characters to suffer and struggle. I don't know what that says about me, but yeah, that's the truth. So moving on to my least favorite character and just like with my favorite characters, I had a bit of a problem with choosing just one. No, I'm kidding. I had actually uh, problems problems with just choosing one uh, in the sense that I didn't have a character that I really disliked um, but there was one character that I kind of had a problem with and not in the sense that I disliked him I just didn't like the things that he did <laughs> I guess and that character is Jace I have a problem with characters who have a goal, work for that, but completely completely forgets it and moves moving on and do something else that's most likely selfish. And I felt like that was what Jace did. It's, and I really dislike it. It doesn't sit well with me. And I feel like it's a trope that we've seen a bazillion times and it doesn't change. It's always the same thing. And it's not justified in a way. And now, now this was very political and that's even worse, you know, you try to help people but then you change and do things for your own gain, you become very selfish and Jace is like on the edge of this, he's on his way to become the worst part of this but then he realizes like oh shit, <laughs> oh shit, no, this is not good. So he, re he realizes that it's not the right way and goes back to what he was actually trying to do from the beginning. And that's why I don't dislike him. I just had a bit of a problem with him not remembering his goal that he fought for. And he, he even had Victor on his side to like remember, make him remember, remember him, to make him remember why they started this. But he still forgot it because of a girl, of course. There's always a girl. But yeah, like most of the time I dislike villains because they have a lack of reason. Like, they have to have a good reason for the things that they do. And I don't feel like, for example, Silco in this one. I don't feel like he lacks reasons. Like, some characters are just evil and that justifies the things they do. But in this case, I don't feel like that's what Silco does, you know? He has, had, he has this goal that he wants to become real. Like, he wanted to become this unified land that I, I forgot name of now right whatever fake fake um, fan fake fake fan yeah whatever he has he his actions are justified for his goal but most villains are justified because they're villains you know they don't have a goal they just do evil things or bad things because they are evil you know and I don't feel like that's a reason enough for being justified you know the things they do I don't know if that made any sense I just feel like some villains are bad they're not good okay but I feel like in this one what it was okay Silco was an okay villain and Jace isn't a villain obviously but it's the same thing like it's not justified I guess I thought it was predictable because we've seen that trope so many times that they forgot their goal and move on to do something more selfish it's a trope that I'm really bored of I don't like it I don't like it at all but next up is animation and it was actually the animation that really mainly want to watch this because I thought it was really interesting it looks really cool and it is it's like nothing I've seen before. It's not a technique that I've seen a lot anyways. And it really suited this series style a lot. 
so I really like it it looks really freaking cool and some details are just so amazing like for example sometimes you could see the spits in a in a way and I just some of the powers were cool as well in the way they had animated it and that it was like sketchy but still like 3d it was a cool aesthetic I really liked the animation in this one something that I really liked about this series is that even though I don't play League I don't know the characters this was a really good way to get into it like you find out who the characters are their relationships why they are the way they are like how they became heroes or villains and it was even though I don't play it it's it's easy to get into it like understanding it and watching it like I didn't feel like I had to know a lot about the games or the lore the games <laughs> the game or the lore behind it to be able to watch this series so even though you haven't played it you could, could watch it like without a problem you would get it anyways something that bothered me um, is actually not a big thing but it's something that usually bothers me with all the series that I watch and that it is that it is a bit predictable like from the beginning I kind of knew what would happen and even if I was wrong in the fir at first it kind of ended up being the thing that I thought would happen it ha happened anyways you know and it could throw you for a loop at first but then the thing that you predicted actually happened in, in some way or another you know so I felt like it was kind of predictable it's it was not like I sat there wondering oh my god how will they fix this how will it end I, I kind of knew what would happen pretty early on and, and that's a bit sad but it's also maybe good I don't know that depends I don't like it I don't I like to be surprised every once in a while and I wasn't with this one it was good but I was, it was a bit predictable so overall I think this is a decent series it's good but it's not amazing I've heard people call it a masterpiece and I think that is a bit too much like it's not bad it's really good but not freaking amazing you know what I mean it's it's okay I really recommend watching it but it's not a masterpiece not in my opinion at least I'm sorry my rating for this is three out of five like I said it's it's a decent series it's good I recommend you watching it my recommendation for this is that if you've played League of Legends and like if you're really into the lore I'm really curious about what you think about Arcane is it accurate is it very wrong or is it it works I'm really curious because I am not in I don't know anything about the lore I'm sorry <laughs> fake camera girl but I really I'm really curious about that but if you haven't played League of Legends and you know nothing about it this could actually be a really good like a powery magic -y series like I said, it's 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 more of like a game-based series. I almost said game again. But like I recommend it if you like characters that struggle but never give up. They have powers, they use tech incorporated with magic. There's a lot of drama and intrigue in this. So there's a lot of things that you could like in this series, even if you haven't played the game. So yeah then this is something for you I guess but yeah that's all I had for you that was my review <laughs> so yeah that was my review of arcane uh, I liked it it was good even though I don't know anything about the lore in League of Legends I felt like I learned a little bit about this and it kind of made me want to try it again I don't know like it's not my type of game. Should I give it another go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like everyone is playing it and it's also like I've heard about the community is really toxic and I don't do toxic people. I really don't. So yeah, we will see what I do. 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have watched Arcane and you're like really into the lore, I would love to hear what you thought about this series. I'm really curious. Like, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if it's good like according to lore or if it's good just without the lore. What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we reached 100 subscribers. I don't know if I said that in my last video, but I am so, I'm so excited. Like I didn't think I would reach 100 subscribers last year, but I did. So now we're gonna reach to the top. We're gonna get more subscribers, more friends here, and I'm really excited. So yeah. Thank you guys so, so, so freaking much. And don't forget to check out my second channel, my gaming channel. There will be a link up in that corner. Is it that corner? I think it's that corner. I never know, <laughs> I'm sorry. And there will also be one in the description box. So yeah, check that out. And thank you guys once again. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.